<laughs> so Barry, I know we've also uh, learned a lot from using wearables at Fisher. Um, share some of our insights. Glass is a, a very good platform, but it does have some limitations. What we found is by pairing glass with other technologies, we can expand its capabilities and ease of use. The first technology we found are these little Bluetooth eye beacons. Eye beacon is a device that emits a low energy Bluetooth signal containing a unique ID. As you can see in this video from Fisher, what we do is put one of these at each work center. When glass comes within range of the beacon, it uses that unique ID to identify where you are on the shop floor. So now, we automatically display real-time machine data or other location-based information on glass based on where you are. We also found pairing glass with a Bluetooth wearable ring scanner is a great way to scan barcode labels. Being able to scan barcodes hands-free was one of the things that originally drew us to glass. Uh, as I'm sure you're all aware, on the shop floor, not all barcode labels are at eye level. What this means is, for a user to be able to scan using glass, he would really have to be a gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're me. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, the ring scanner eliminates all that, and as you can see from the video and from my gymnastics, it still allows the user to be hands-free. <laughs> Great job, Barry. I hope you don't pull a hamstring over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Scott, what do you see as the next steps for wearables and Fisher on the shop floor? Well, we find the eye beacons a really valuable addition. Uh, we're looking to add that location awareness to uh, tablets and phones and other devices. Um, and in fact, we talked with Barry earlier this month, and based on initial testing, our team found that the scanners and the wearable and the ring uh, scanner uh, are a much more effective solution than the current scan guns. So we're looking to roll that out across the organization. Fantastic, it's exciting stuff. And I know this is just the start. Jerry, you've got some other uh, things cooking in the lab, so why don't you share with us what's next? Right, so connectivity is so important. It's what allows us to do the real world experimentation we have some really good ideas on the next things that we're, next applications and technologies that we're looking at bringing to the shop floor. You know, Barry talked about the ring scanner and the beacon and the glass, and these are all cool devices, but it's really about taking the next generation of wearables and building integrated solutions for the shop floor. Um, for instance, we're looking at using glass and the beacon as maybe a, a safety application. You can imagine a forklift driver wearing the glass and, and putting that beacon into everyone's safety vest. That way, when the forklift driver is driving around a corner, he can be alerted to someone's presence on the other side. We can even uh, identify the person in the glass so we can decide whether he actually wants to stop or not. <laughs> it's a plant manager, don't stop. Um, it's a simple application, but it could be really life-saving. Um, so I asked Barry to bring some of the new devices that we're looking at that you might someday see on a Plex shop floor nearest you. We're looking to expand the usability of glass by pairing it with Bluetooth-enabled quality measurement tools for collecting check sheet data, like this caliper, looking to improve the ease of use of glass by pairing it with GoGlove. GoGlove allows a user to trigger activities on glass with a simple gesture. This is ideal for environments that require users to wear uh, gloves on the shop floor. It could also be used to improve efficiency by reducing hand arm motion. And we've been experimenting with apps for other types of wearable, like the Apple Watch. By pairing the watch with the iBeacon technology on the shop floor, we can deliver the production status of nearby work centers. Really, this could be any data or notifications based on the needs and requirements. And of course, this will work on basically any wearable running Android OS as well. Thanks, Barry. A nice Plex blue watch band there. I like that. <laughs> That's sharp. So you guys know my next question. Yep, uh, glass and, and the beacons and the watch and everything that Barry showed you this morning is avail available for you to experience yourself out at the Experience Labs. Great, thank you. And Barry's going to be down there demonstrating all of this new technology. I'm sure he'll sign some autographs as well for you if you'd like, our local wearable celebrity. Um, <laughs> so, Scott, Barry, and Jerry, thank you. Have a seat. <laughs>